almost finished. There's probably about have a couple of loads there maybe. So and I've also got here somewhere, where is it? There on that pole, that black thing, that's my time lapse camera. So I'll, I'll try and include that in the video. Right, I'm back on drilling small beans. Now for hours, someone rang us up and said, could we come and drill some, uh, some beans for them? So I've got about 53 acres to drill, I think, on about four different fields. So I haven't been going that long. I've done about three or four strips. And this is slightly different soil to what we're used to. Back at our farm, it's very, um, very light land here. So yeah, it's going not too bad. We're doing five and a half to six kilometers an hour, 210 kilograms a hectare here. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot lighter land, so it's not so hard work on the, on the tractor. I had to set the GPS up first, because this field got a, some telegraph poles in, so I had to work around them and get that all set up, but we're, we're going properly now. It's about, I don't know, past one, two o'clock in the afternoon, so all the, all the sugar beet have gone now. We've almost finished this uh, first field, it's now about eight o'clock in the evening, but the problem is, I don't know if it really shows it on the thing, there's the fog. I put them lights on, you can't hardly see, see anything. No, the fog is descending, it's really thick. I'm, I'm having to, around the end of the field, so I'm having to use the um, tram line, and I can honestly hardly see it on the last way round. But, yeah, we're nearly finished, there's about a 30 acre field this is, so we've almost done that one. Right, I've now purchased out of seed the, you can see the dividing line, which means there's hardly any left, probably another, I don't know, quarter of a hectare or something, so i finished the inside the field. It's now half past 11 in the evening. So yeah, I'm now going to head head back home. Obviously I'm out contract at the moment, so I've got a, about, mm, what was it, about mm, three quarters now journey home in the vehicle. So the farmer's lending me his vehicle, so I need someone who's going to come and get me at this time of night.
drilling this bit, you just saw us ploughing. Going rather slow. About two, two and a half kilometres now. It's rather tough. But we did, it's supposed to rain again on Monday, so we decided to do this and then I've got to, then I've got to spray it. Ideally it could have done with a little bit of drying out, but we don't have that this time, again as usual this year. So but yeah, we're putting on a, a very high super load today. 550 kilograms a hectare because this is where all the sugar beet were and the soil isn't very good so I always whack the seed rate up just to um, get it to uh, get to put a, put a decent um, plant in because the soil structure is terrible so I found out why it was coming apart because this one here's the feed and this one here's the FIFO return and when you lift it up that was getting hold of that and pushing that pushing that ring like that and pushing it apart. So I've had to re root the pipes. I've just put them back together like that to show you why it did it. But I've had to re root the pipes. Because when you lift it up, all these this tank on the front here, all these pipes move. And it does what well, because it happened again when I was drilling those uh, the beans at the other farm. But thankfully, it didn't blow the seal, probably because it was a, a new seal. And now, I've got these all the these power cables and lights and video uh, the cat monitors and that in between to stop this happening.
Hi, what are you doing? No, this is the only way we can turn the axle. You can, one way you have to turn the steering wheel ever so slowly and yank on the other axle. It's a two-man job, so doing the pigs this week has been a bit of a nightmare. They will go the opposite way, but they will not go that way. If you watch the front axle in a moment, you'll see that turns, but that is under proper power from the steering wheel, but it's gone away now to be repaired. 